Set. Go. Set. Go. Set. Go. Set. Go. Your marks. Set. Go. Okay, we're using this one as an example because of this first step. This is where everybody's hand needs to be. And watch what it does to the rest of his run, right? First step is here. Second step. Third step. His fourth step is literally on the six yard mark, but it's not perfect because it's also flat footed. So we don't want that. But everything else about this, in terms of his arms, is very, very good. Take a look at this sprint start from three very experienced runners. Watch the first step and the extension. Everybody's back leg is straight. Foot placement on their toes. Second step, drive, push, push. Look how big the arms are and how strong the drive phases are. switching into transition. Okay, this is uh, Manzavis Ray Edwards uh, with a quick analysis of two athletes, uh, Wallace Beerman and Jared Cunningham, doing block start using coach's eye. Generally what we look for in the start is where your first step is at, the angle of your body, uh, where your butt and your hips raise up at. So. It actually helps us to be able to slow up and freeze frame everything to actually get to see what is hard to see when you can only hit play and pause. So we're going to take a quick look at uh, look at that. See what these guys first step, first movement looks like. Okay. Along with this, it allows you to see the reaction between both athletes. If you go right there, you'll see that they both moved at the same time. So that was a good reaction by both of them. Uh, as we keep going, Wallace's arms looks look great. His angle looks perfect. Uh, Jared, his angle is okay. Actually, it's, it's real low, which is also good. Uh, if you notice, let's see if I can use my pencil correctly. Right there is the angle you want to be at, and you see the straight line that Wallace has coming directly out the blocks from his chin to his ankle, so that's actually real good. Jared's is a little lower, as you can tell right there. That really determines the, the angle he's coming out at, but Wallace is actually at a very, 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 very good angle in this video. As they keep going, we get to see their steps, see their movement, 
see every picture, every angle. Once again, here you can see that Wallace has a great, 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 great angle at his knees. From his the power triangle is what it's called. You can see he has a great power triangle right there. You can see that right here from the opposite side, on the opposite leg, you can see Jared's power triangle. So that one's good as well. Good explosion, good push. And there comes Coach into the mix. Hey, Coach, get it out of the way. Again, you can see Wallace's angle is what makes him as good as he is because he has just that great angles. As we watch it, keep freeze framing. Now he's up and about to get running. And now this is when the fun part starts is you get to see his cycle motion. See how tight his, how tight his leg is. See his arm action, see everything is going forward. He's in the perfect running position. Perfect running position. And that is how we analyze here at Stratton Sprints with uh, Coach's Eye. This is Ray Edwards.